but now to an electrical fault found in millions of homes across the country. It won't give you a shock, but it can cause a host of medical complaints, including insomnia, fatigue and headaches. Those who suffer often have no idea what the problem is, but as Laura Sparks reports, it's an easy problem to find and to fix. It happens in any house and sometimes any office. It's not something we would have thought of on our, on our own. Before. And we find a water pipe where the field is, is quite high. It's invisible. It doesn't make any noise. We can't see anything. We can't feel it. The symptoms were stabbing headaches, pain all over my body, um, sleep disturbances, uh, tinnitus, heart arrhythmia. So Laura, this is the bedroom. And there's no mattress. <laughs> no, there's no mattress in here at the moment. We've been sleeping out in the lounge now. What drives a man to drag his mattress into the lounge each and every night to sleep? I often have quite a lot of trouble getting to sleep, sort of insomnia, those kinds of things, and generally wake up in the morning feeling really tired, even though you sometimes get a good night's sleep. Ben Garden woke up exhausted every morning. Eventually, he decided to sleep in the lounge. This is where we're sleeping at the moment. Oh, I see. And what have you noticed a difference? Uh, massive difference, actually. Yeah, we've um, we've just found that we fall asleep a lot easier, and we also wake up feeling quite rested in the morning. So, what was it keeping Ben in a continual state of sleep deprivation when he slept in his own bedroom? We're strictly talking about a field, and the field we're looking at is a magnetic field. So, what's coming out of here? A magnetic radiation field? It's a magnetic field. field. Because there's a current flowing, it creates a field around it. John Lincoln is an electrical engineer. He surveys houses for magnetic fields. I'm getting readings of sort of 100 or so. And what should it be? Well, about two would be nice. So or none. And Ben's sleeping problems are just one of the many side effects of sleeping near a high magnetic field. We get things like heart palpitations. Um, if they're sleeping very close to a field, which is high, they could end up with a brain tumour. But the people that come to me have come because they've got some sickness themselves, their children, their husband, they maybe can't sleep, they maybe have perpetual headaches. And they've been to everybody, they've been to the doctor, they've been to the chiropractor, and they just don't get any help. The problem lies between the meter box, the electricity and the plumbing, which in this house runs directly along here. Now, it's this stray current created by this mix that's the actual magnetic field. And it's this current that needs to be fixed. Houses are wired and plumbed the way they are for very good reasons. But what can happen is we can end up with current flowing back down the water pipe out to the street. If this happens to be where we spend a lot of time, like near the head of your bed, then it needs to be looked at. I guess this is something that most people don't think about. You expect that your house is going to be safe. For Diana Keelan, the sickness overtook the quality of her life. Severe headaches, on, particularly on one side of the head, sort of stabbing headaches. Um, I would get neurological pain all over my body and sometimes that would come with itchiness and skin rashes. Um, my sleep was disturbed. After researching the issue and getting her house surveyed, Diana realised the magnetic field in her bedroom was only part of the problem. She's since adapted her entire home to keep out all magnetic fields and radio frequencies. I no longer have the headaches, the pain in my body, the sleep disturbance, the tinnitus, the heart arrhythmia. Um, I'm feeling more energy. The solution to the water pipe problem is, is pretty easy. Firstly, it doesn't happen in new houses with plastic pipes because the current won't run down there. But if you do have copper pipes or steel pipes, we can get plumbers to put inserts in that will stop this current flow. They simply cut the pipe to break the circuit and put a piece of poly pipe in at either end. Um, so that lowered the magnetic field. Ben is now waiting on a plumber to fix his water pipes at a cost of $500. Is it worth it? If it means I can get a good night's sleep, then yeah, definitely it's worth it. That's Laura Sparks reporting, and for details on how to find out if your house has that problem, just go to our website. Still ahead.